With the NBA having more international players than ever before, a lot of them are slowly taking over the league. And a couple years from now, it's very possible the 5 best players in 2025 might all be from overseas. How's it going guys? My name's Wilson. Of all the NBA players who were considered the best at one point, the only one who wasn't born in the US was Hakeem Olajuwon, who was the best player in the game in 94 and 95. Two years from now, it's more than likely the best player in the NBA will not be born in the US. So let's take a look back at all the best current NBA players from each country. Before we start this video, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who participated in voting in the polls on the shirts. Here are the two final designs that will be put out very soon. After this week, I read the comments and feedbacks, A and B were the most popular options. The absolute travesty t-shirts, so here's another example of it on the white t-shirts, option B which reads the word basketball down below let me know which options you guys like best and for any other suggestions now on to the video starting in alphabetical order australia kyrie irving who was born in melbourne where his dad played overseas spent the first two years of his life there before moving back to the states when he was two irving does hold a dual american and australian citizenship and he's clearly better than ben simmons right now who hasn't improved much his second season i still believe irving will be better than simmons for at least the next two years austria Jakob Purtle, who's the only player from there where the 7 footer will be entering his fourth season as a role player, averaged over 5-5 five five for San Antonio, played his college ball at the University of Utah, the 23 year old still hasn't lived up to his hype. The Bahamas Buddy Heel, who's already 26 years old and had a terrific third season, having averages of over 20 points, 5 rebounds on almost 43% shooting from 3, I still believe he's a little better than the 2018 first overall pick DeAndre Ayton, perhaps in a year or two Ayton will be better, but that's to be determined. Bosnia, Yusuf Nurkic, who's proven to be a very solid starting center, still recovering from his devastating leg injury, was having the best season of his career, putting up over 15 and 10 in 27 minutes of action. The 7 footer is expected to come back sometime in the middle of the 2020 season. Brazil, Bruno Caboclo, who's with the Memphis Grizzlies, played 34 games last season, put up over 8 points, nearly 5 rebounds in 23 and a half minutes of action. The 6'9 small forward made his presence known in the FIBA. World Cup in a win over Greece, playing excellent defense on Giannis, and of course Nene, who's returning for his final season, deserves an honorable mention. Cameroon, Joel Embiid, a top 10 player in my opinion, and a dark horse MVP candidate for 2020, came off a career year averaging 27 and a half points, 13 and a half rebounds, and two block shots. When healthy, he's the most unstoppable big man in the league, and will look to put himself in the conversation for top five player in the coming years. Canada, when most people think of basketball in Canada, the first thing that comes to mind is Maple Jordan, Andrew Wiggins, but no, Jamal Murray is clearly better than Andrew Wiggins right now, and it's not even a debate. The 22 year old earned his 5 year contract extension of $170 million, averaged over 18 points, 4 rebounds, nearly 5 assists last season, and took over down the stretch in the playoffs, performing even better in the postseason. While Wiggins hasn't improved since his rookie year, many teams would rather even have average role player Tristan Thompson over. Wiggins. Croatia, Bojan Badanovic, who will be a big help to the Utah Jazz, coming off a career year of 18 points, 4 rebounds, on a very efficient 50% shooting, 42 and a half from 3, capable of making plays and taking over down the stretch, the 30 year old might be the X factor in helping Utah possibly get to the finals. Czech Republic, Thomas Sadoransky, who's the only current active player from there now, the 6'7 guard averaged almost 9 points, 5 assists, making 54 starts for the Wizards last season, will turn 28 in late October, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Emmanuel Moutier, who's way better than Bus Bismack Biombo right now, while the 6'5 point guard's career seemed to be in jeopardy, came off a career high of 14.8 points in 27 minutes of action with the Knicks last season, and will now serve as a backup point guard for the Jazz, agreeing to a one year minimum. Dominican Republic, Al Horford, the 33 year old should still have a couple solid seasons left, came off averaging 13 and a half points, almost 7 rebounds in 68 games for Boston last season, will suit up for the Sixers and play some power forward and look to dominate on both ends of the floor, being in the front line with Joel Embiid, the 5 time all-star still looking for his first title. England, OG Ananobi, who came off putting up 7 points a game playing 20 minutes for the Raptors last season, will be entering his third year, born in the United Kingdom, will likely play more minutes now that Kawhi's gone. 
Egypt, Abdul Nader, the small forward for the Oklahoma City Thunder, averaged 4 points, 2 rebounds in 61 games last season, will be 26 years old before the start of next season. Finland, Lowry Markkinen, entering his third season with the Chicago Bulls, but star potential written all over the 7 foot power forward, one of the bright young stars at 22 years old, and will likely be the best player on the Bulls next season, having a chance to become a first time all star. France, the one and only Rudy Gobert, with Tony Parker now retired, and the best player all time to ever come out of France. Gobert already has two Defensive Player of the Year awards and will look to make the All-Star game after arguably getting snuffed a season ago. Gabon located in Central Africa, Chris Silva, undrafted in the 2019 class, the 6'9 power forward out of the University of South Carolina, signed the contract with the Miami Heat. Georgia, after Zaza retired and will now join the Warriors as a consultant, rookie Gogo Benza, drafted 18 overall by the Pacers, is now the only player from his country playing in the NBA. At 6'11", his skills will be tested very soon. Germany, Dennis Schroeder, Walter Nowitzki recently retired as by far the best player to ever come out of his country. The 6'1 Schroeder, now entering his second season with OKC, averages 13.5 points over his first 6 seasons and will turn 26 September 15th. Greece, easily the Greek freak Giannis Antetokounmpo, the 2019 NBA MVP will look to continue getting better and will likely be the face of the league in the 2020s, has all the tools to go down as one of the greatest when it's all said and done. Guinea, Suko Dublia, one of the most intriguing prospects, drafted 15 overall by the Detroit Pistons in the 2019 class, at 6'9", 18 years old, he can knock down the outside shot and has tons of potential. Haiti, Skill Labissier, who hasn't quite lived up to his expectations, is the only active player from there, now with the Portland Trail Blazers at 23 years old, he needs to improve his game and get more playing time to stay in the league. Israel, TJ Leaf of the Indiana Pacers. For Volmer Caspi no longer in the league, the 22 year old Leaf will be entering his third season, plays very limited minutes, has averages of 3.4 points, 1.9 rebounds, and less than 9 minutes of action in his first two seasons. Italy, Danilo Gallinari, the 6'10 forward, will be suiting up for the OKC Thunder, had a stellar season with the Clippers. After battling countless injuries, the 31 year old should have plenty of basketball left. Japan, Rui Archimura, who will make his debut with the Washington Wizards as the ninth overall pick in the 2019 draft. Lafia, Christos Porzingis, who hasn't played since February of 2018 since touring his ACL, was putting up nearly 23 a game as the best player on the Knicks, will look to get back to all-star level very soon. Lithuania, Jonas Valanciunas, who had a terrific 19 game stretch with Memphis in 2019, put up nearly 20 a game over 10 boards, a very underrated big man who does a lot of the dirty work, the 27 year old will be entering the prime of his career, Mali Africa, Chuck Diallo, now with the Phoenix Suns, the 6'9 power forward played his first 3 seasons with the Pelicans, came off the bench, Montenegro, Nikola Vucevic, coming off a career year of putting up 21 and 12, the soon to be 29 year old will look to take the magic back to the postseason. New Zealand, big boy Steven Adams, about to enter his 7th season, the 7 footers were of the strongest players in the league, average almost 14 points, 9.5 rebounds, and always at the right place at the right time, an excellent starting role player. Nigeria, Josh Akoki, going into his second season, the 6'4 shooting guard provides energy and toughness to the Timberwolves, posted averages of 7.7 points, 2.9 rebounds, and looked better than Andrew Wiggins at times. Puerto Rico, JJ Barea, the 35 year old's coming off an Achilles injury, but still gives Give solid minutes, putting up over 10 a game each of the last four seasons. Republic of the Congo, Serge Ibaka, coming off a championship, the 6'10 power forward should still be a solid role player the next couple seasons. Senegal, Gorgi Deng, who barely plays in the Timberwolves rotation. The 6'11 big man played limited minutes off the bench the last two seasons. Serbia, Nikola Jokic, who's now an NBA superstar, put up over 20 points, nearly 11 rebounds, over 7 assists, and made all NBA first team last season. The 24 year old will likely be one of the best for many years to come. Boban Majanovic deserves a mention as well, just because he's Boban. Slovenia, Luka Doncic, who will become a future superstar and already one of the most exciting players to watch, is easy better than Goran Dragic right now and will be the face of the mass franchise throughout the 2020s. South Sudan, Don Maker, who's been very disappointing over his first three seasons, averaged less than five points for his career so far, has yet to prove himself. Spain, still Marcus Saul, slightly over Ricky Rubio, who's proved to be a huge difference maker for the champion Raptors, sacrificed a lot of his offense and scoring for his leadership and defense and should have a couple years left as an impactful player. 
Switzerland, Clint Capella, coming off averaging nearly 17 and 13 on 65% shooting, has a better field goal percentage than free throw percentage, and gets a lot of easy opportunities from James Harden. Turkey, Ennis Kanner, the 6'11 center will suit up for the Celtics, one of the best rebounders and post players in the league, the former third overall picks one of the most interesting personalities as well. Due to his criticism and backlash of the Turkey president, he considers himself stateless. The second best player from Turkey right now is Jetty Osman. Ukraine Alex Lin, who put up 11 a game last season with the Hawks, is a role player. After 6 underachieving seasons with the Suns, the 7-1 center has a year remaining on his contract. The United States, Kawhi Leonard. With Kevin Durant hurt, Leonard had one of the most amazing playoff runs in NBA history. Captured his second title, leading the Raptors to a championship, their first in franchise history, and will look to lead the Clippers to their first title come 2020. Last but not least, shout out to all my fans watching from the Philippines, Jordan Clarkson deserves a mention. Even though he's Filipino-American, couldn't play for the World Cup this year, but very well respected in the country. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love all of you. See you next time.